Well, gang, it seems like we got another mystery at our hands. Another gaming, another gaming drama, ladies and gentlemen. We got a massive disaster. I don't think you guys are ready for this one. What the hell is going on in gaming? Another one, ladies and gentlemen. Another Ubisoft flop. Another Ubisoft crap. This is what these suckers have done to the homie Yasuke, to the Captain BBC, you guys. Like, this is absolutely absurd. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Listen, guys, um, yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to see, man. Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike if you think there are 5,000. Because this is what they've done to the homie Yasuke. First of all, as we get down to the video here, salute to Captain BBC, man. Salute to Captain Yo, BBC. Bongo. Shout out to the homie Smash JT Wait for a roll. All right, raise your hand if you saw this one coming. Star Wars Outlaws has debuted on Steam to atrocious catastrophically low amounts of players we're talking around 600 people worldwide concurrently playing star yeah. wars outlaws on its team launch day what's going on guys welcome to another episode of smash jt and here's the video everyone was expecting because star wars outlaws has been a downward trajectory type game since its launch where yeah. sure there was a little bit of hubbub initially for it people were excited about it coming out and yeah ubisoft we can try to look past that because we love star wars i get all that the game comes out to lukewarm reviews people thought it was average at best and moved on from it fairly quickly they didn't like ubisoft being the company that it's Seems like that Concord and Dustborn got some real competition, guys. They got some real competition, man. Dustborn, if I'm not mistaken, did a peak of 698 players. Uh, for Concord, I don't remember. Let me let me check. Doesn't really want you to own your games, and people overwhelmingly just kind of said, meh. I'll play other games. There's yeah. plenty out there. I don't need to support this company. And now, after a month and a half or so of the game being out, uh -oh. finally debuts on Steam to paltry numbers. Ubisoft is boned. <laughs> <laughs> That's Yo, me like. This is absolutely insanity, right? Okay, so Concord, what the hell? Yo, say psych! Say psych right now! What? I thought it did like a thousand. Oh yeah, I believe it, it did like closer to 2400 during the beta, but when the actual game came out, it did 697. Okay, uh, and if I'm not mistaken, Dustborn did 698. So it couldn't beat, it couldn't beat. Uh, Oh my goodness. My goodness. And check out SmashJT.com for the full article breaking down this paltry, catastrophically bad Steam <laughs> launch because these numbers are even uh, lower than even I was expecting. Ubisoft's yeah. initially much hyped and ultimately massive letdown on consoles. Star Wars Outlaws has now finally had what we can only describe mm. as a disastrous debut on Steam. Mm. Despite hopes that the game's late arrival on the platform could potentially spark some new interest with a different player base, sadly, for Ubisoft at least, nope. No chance. Yeah. Launch day numbers tell a very grim story of what they can expect going forward with this. Because as of... But of course, like, you know, the Star Wars characters be like, I am strong, I am independent, I can go out with the RPG and go POW! Sir! You know, toxic gamers, toxic masculinity, I am strong, I'm independent. Hee <laughs> Now, per Steam DB, launch day max players live concurrently is at <sighs> 603 people total Ooh, <laughs> that's that's really bad like i don't i don't know how else to put it for a triple a game that was in development for a very long time lots of money spent on it and a company that's financially struggling like ubisoft but, 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 but to be fair though this is uh, the 14 minutes let's actually check it live I, i'm assuming like it's gonna be in the thousands to be honest but i still believe that it's cooked though like ubisoft is delulu right like so th this is, i mean this is what they get for doing yasuke dirty man like this is this is the revenge of captain bbc guys i'm, I'm telling y'all man this is the revenge of captain bbc bro like the, the the type of crap that they done to the real yasuke guys listen man this is beyond gaming at this point okay yasuke was a real guy okay and they made him what he was not in the game bruh like they, they they were like okay he black so he gay now if the real yasuke was actually gay then understandable right but he was not and ubisoft was like just because he black we gotta make him gay in the game bro bro like that's racist af bro that's racist af man no diddy no diddy no diddy 600 people playing a game 
You're not going to get by with that. Most people would say this kind of number is unthinkable, but then again, <laughs> it's Ubisoft, so I guess yeah. it comes with the territory. And this is just part of the story. Where is that? Where is that? The Trouble Steam launch comes a couple of months after Outlaws first hit other platforms in August, where being filled to the brim with sluggish gameplay and bugs and glitches, it immediately underperformed. Ubisoft mm -hmm. admitted in their first half earnings report for 2024-2025 that the game underperformed sales expectations. And the numbers on Steam indicate that gamers have already written Outlaws off. With so, you know what? Right now, two hours later, it's 8.34. So, it beat Concord. It beat Concord, guys. It beat Concord. Yo, let's go. Let's go, man. It beat Dustborn as well, man. That is crazy. Sheesh. Sheesh. I'm assuming, like, it's probably going to hit, like, 2,000. Maybe 3,000 if we're lucky. But that, that we might be pushing it. So, this is two hours ago. I, I think it's gonna jump. It's gonna jump for sure. Right now, seven, eight, six people playing right now. People, 786 people enjoying the game, guys. They are loving the game. They're enjoying the game. Come on, guys. Like, come on, man. Why you guys be doing that, guys? Make sure you do not surpass 800 likes on this video, okay? Like, I better not see more than 800 likes on this video, man. Very little interest in revisiting it. A day before the release, the writing was already on the wall for the failure incoming, and shout out yeah. to the Phantom Pulse and John Trent for getting the screenshot before the game went live, because according to SteamDB, the game ranked a dismal 249th on the most wishlisted upcoming Steam games. Just 6,789 followers that were excited about this game. And that was one day before it launched on Steam. Damn. A Star Wars game. Like, take a step back from this and just say, oh, okay. It's okay, but but still, like, it, it Star Wars got more followers than me on Instagram, though, you know? Oh, you, you feel what I'm saying? So still, uh, yeah, they, that's progress. That is progress. Guys, if you do have Twitter, Instagram, I would definitely love to have you there. Bruh. Feel what I'm saying? Links are always in the pinned comment. Links, links are always in the description. Gang, gang. All right, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo. Ubisoft, I get it. Ubisoft sucks. Haha, let's laugh at that. But a Star Wars property, how the mighty have fallen. I know Disney screwed the pooch when it comes to Star Wars and using that property in the right way. And I understand mm. it's not in the best light publicly for the most people watching Star Wars, not liking what they're taking the direction of it. I get all that. But at mm. the end of the day, it's still Star Wars. And yeah, even if you ignore yeah. all that, these numbers are atrocious. It, 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 and he clapping, brother clapping right there. <laughs> Damn. I was gonna say, I was gonna say this dog, like Star Wars, right? That's such a big name. That's such a big IP. That's a big, such a big franchise. They got billions of dollars out there. Why give it to Ubisoft to make it? What the hell? What is wrong with y'all suckers? At this point, y'all suckers deserve it. It's the same thing, right? <laughs> Avengers, the Marvel game. I, I would say like the Marvel game that came out a couple of years ago. The Avengers one, right? It was still better than, I mean, I've only seen the gameplay. I've not played it. I'm not sure if it was better or not. People said that, you, you know, when uh, uh, Guardian of the Galaxy, they made a game on that. When that came out, people said that was miles better than Avengers, the Marvel's game. I have not played it, so I cannot really give you my opinion. But I can give you my opinion as somebody that actually saw the gameplay and saw other people reviews. And people were just just going off on that game. And everybody was like, the, the actual gamers, right, were saying that that game is crap, this and that. And, and yeah, right, like, it's, it's still, the point remained the same. If your IP and franchise is that big, Avengers, man, you know, Star Wars, why give it to these uh, these low companies, low ass companies, or the companies that don't even do games justice, that don't even care about gamers, right? Give it to somebody that actually cares. Give it to someone that's actually passionate about making games. Now, don't get me wrong, making games is hard. I'm pretty sure some devs are watching this video and this is not directed at you. You're, of course, like working with uh, uh, other people and you guys are working under certain people. You guys got deadlines to meet. You, you, you know what I mean? I, I get all that, right? And there's probably a whole lot of other bull squash that you guys have to deal with. So not everybody's like that, not generalizing everyone. There are really good devs out there, really passionate devs out there, but we just don't see it from an out uh, as an outsider looking in you don't necessarily get to see it i mean whatever <laughs> as an insider looking into it i don't see it either because i'm a gamer Bruh. too right so yeah as an outsider as an insider i just don't see that passion anywhere what is going on so uh, point remains like if you got a big title you got billions and billions of dollars why give your project to companies like that I get it, if you don't have all the money in the world, then you are you wanna go with the Ubisofts and the EAs and all. Okay, I would say EA is kinda better than Ubisoft. Kinda, kinda wild that I'm saying this right now. I mean, EA is also one of the worst companies out there, don't get me wrong. But right now, <laughs> Ubisoft takes the cake, essentially. 
Of course, Ubisoft CEO Yves Guimont attempted to paint a rosier picture in the lead up to the Steam launch, claiming that three updates had improved community sentiment and teased a major update coinciding. Ah ouais, c'est ah ouais, j'ai fait des dalles. Ah calice, tu penses que les trois updates a a amélioré le jeu là? Ah ouais, c'est je la la calice de tabernacle. With the Steam release, alongside the game's first big story pack. But don't hold your breath to be amazed though. Guimont positioned this as an opportunity Guimont. to address a mainstream audience for the busy season and try to turn Outlaws into a must-play game. And uh, I gotta say, adding updates to something- Guy Mont, I will destroy your pawn. <laughs> so, basically Guy Mont is his name and pawn means uh, f uh, bridge, essentially. Damn! Yo, that's kinda genius though! Cause DEI bridge, you know there were crap like that going on. But yeah, le pawn means uh, the bridge in Francais, in the French people have already laughed off and moved on from isn't going to work when your company is woke as hell and straight up telling their customers hey we don't want you to own your games and get used to not owning them because we <laughs> woke as hell and straight up telling their customers hey. ubisoft exec says gamers need to get comfortable not owning their games for subscriptions to take off i guess gamers getting real comfortable you know <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is this is insane, y'all. This is insane, man. Gamers rise up. Gamers rise up. Gamers rise up. Hey, we don't want you to own your games and get used to not owning them because we want to make live service and take all the money we can from you. Ubisoft has rolled out its largest update yet for Star Wars Outlaws, so for those that were wondering what it was they were adding to it, here's some information about the patch highlights. First off, they improved stealth and combat mechanics, where players now have more flexibility in choosing between stealth and direct combat, even in syndicate control areas. They also supposedly enhanced the AI detection mechanics and the weak points have been added to enemies. All these things in this update wow. Are things wow. that I'm like, shouldn't that have been in the game when it launched? Why why did it take an update for this stuff? This is this is basic. But anyway, the update goes on. Revised weapon handling, pick up weapons, including two-handed ones, can now be carried more often, streamlining combat scenarios, and Kay's blaster has been retuned. So basically, instead of weapon handling, they made her do the men handling. <laughs> I don't know about that weapon handling. I am strong. I am strong. I am strong. I am independent. I'm independent. All right, let's get back to the content here, boo-boo. To create smoother and more engaging Bruh. combat experiences. They also made updates to the visuals and animations where dialogue scenes now feature improved facial expressions and the cinematic lens toggle option has been added. It was a wow. pretty sizable update as well. We're talking upwards of 6 to 10 gigs depending on the platform that you own this game on. And I'm just putting this all together like, okay, great. We made all these updates to the game and it plays a lot better, it's far more fluent, we worked on it and it should be a more precise game that hopefully draws you into the world better and it's more exciting and exhilarating to play and I'm all good and well with that but again, where was this when the game launched two and a half months ago? If you could have done all these updates in two and a half months, why not just delay the game and do it right the first time? The biggest part of the update is probably the DLC, the first story pack, they call it Wildcard, and that introduces players to a new mission where Kay infiltrates a high-stakes Sabak tournament, and the DLC is accessible with the Season Pass or can be purchased individually. And again, I go back to looking at all this stuff, I see Lando in it, and it looks cool, but yeah, all this stuff yeah, I feel like yeah. Ubisoft cut portions of the game out of it just to add it in later as DLC trying to nickel and dime and make more money off of the gamers instead Yo! of doing it right the first time and doing right by the gamers for the gamers to make sure that this is an all toxic gamers toxic masculinity in one experience all encompassing perfectly done as best they could out the door without additional nickel and diming and without making people wait upwards of three months to get dialogue scenes right or the combat Three months, three months, but it seems like the same game. Like I'm not, uh, I'm not seeing the difference, man. I'm not seeing any difference, my man. Like, Got to be fluid. This is unacceptable in the modern era of gaming. Modern. Gamers won't stand for it when there's so August. much competition out there already. Unfortunately for Ubisoft, the result. Okay, there is a little bit of difference. Like so, what they've done is up the contrast, up the a little bit of the sharpness, and called it a day. <laughs> called it a day. Okay, the colors. Uh, okay, saturation. Okay, yeah, slightly better. I would say slightly better. But still, it's a Ubisoft game, so... Quadruple A? Quadruple A game? Yeah. 
Yay. Helps prove more that these efforts were way too little. Immersion. And despite promises of quality improvements and promotional pushes during the holiday season, gamers have appeared to completely have moved on from it. I'm willing to even give the game a second, or for in many cases, a first chance. I can't say I'm really surprised though. When I look at the company that's actively trying to take my ownership away from the games that I own, I don't really want to contribute to the mess, trash pile, burning dumpster fire that mm. is also known as Ubisoft. <laughs> Toxic Gamers! Seriously, seriously, this is what y'all get. This is what y'all get for doing the BBC Samurai dirty, bro. This is the revenge of the Captain BBC. And listen, man, I'm with the BBC, uh, Captain BBC on this one. We gonna take your revenge, homie. We got you, homie. Yeah, because, like, listen, man, they're, okay, jokes aside, the real Gyasuke, he cannot come down here and defend himself, guys. Imagine, imagine, like, yeah, jokes aside, though, imagine you do something amazing in your lifetime, and then, you know, after a while, like, a couple of decades later or centuries later, Ubisoft were to make a game on you, right? And instead of, like, talking about your achievements or, you know, just portraying you as you were, they're like, nah, man, his biggest achievement was him being gay. Like, what the hell? What, what the hell, bro? What the, what the actual hell? Now, sure, if you were gay... And they made you as you were then that's understandable that is cool though you know because they were like yeah okay so we're gonna portray you accurately as you were but these suckers were like nah man like he was <laughs> he black so he get but what well, the dog and of course we're talking about a, a japanese setting game in the 1600 in feudal japan and this is the type of crap they done to it man for sure man this is a revenge of the captain bbc man we with the bbc homie right there man Damn, homies. Days. The failure of Star Wars Outlaws isn't just a blow to Ubisoft, it's a worrying sign for the broader Star Wars franchise as well. Like I said earlier, Disney has trashed the IP in recent years, and most people have just laughed this off, which is really unfortunate and tragic yeah. in a certain light, because tragic. Star Wars was one of the fan favorite, most iconic IPs in entertainment history. And how fast it's fallen thanks to the woke mind virus completely destroying any excitement many fans ever had for the series in the first place. Ubisoft's inability to deliver a compelling product is a harsh reminder of the consequences of mismanagement. You don't expect Ubisoft to deliver. You cannot put Ubisoft and deliver in the same <laughs> in the same sentence, my guy. You just cannot. You just can't, my man. Same as you cannot put as you cannot put Activision and Free in the same sentence because Free don't exist. Because if they give you something for free, you know they're gonna charge you. A penny with the a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a and Ubisoft and Deliver don't exist. Management and misaligned priorities. The game's been criticized for its generic gameplay, poor optimizations, bugs, glitches, and most importantly, uninspired narrative. Failings that no amount of post-launch updates could erase from players' initial impressions. With Outlaws mm. now performing this disastrously on Steam, Ubisoft is facing even a steeper hill to try to climb up, if you uh -oh, can believe that uh -oh. much, to salvage the game and its reputation, whatever reputation. I, I wanna show you guys this. Shout out to the homie Dr. Disaster. Now, the homie Dr. Disaster caught Ubisoft at one of the worst time ever and he was mighty fast to say the least he was faster to catch this than Usain Bolt were to finish his track by the way uh, shout out to Usain Bolt uh, one of the legend right uh, uh, one of the living legend out there but all right let's talk about this shit that we got going on with Ubisoft here Star Wars Outlaws featuring the uglified version of actress Humberly Gonzalez aka the love child of Swamp Thing and Rosie O'Donnell the game that features Wait, this ugly KVS character is finally here on Steam and nobody cares it's still early the game has only been available for about a half hour at the time of this recording so things could change but at the moment there are only 71 players playing there this game. Once Bumbleclad brothers! Bumbleclad, my brothers! But yeah, this is what I was talking about. He caught them lacking. He caught them at one of the worst time ever. Of course, like, uh, the homie Smash JT caught them when they were at, like, 600. I'm catching them when they were at 834, three hours, because that's the peak. Players uh, declining a little bit. I'm assuming, like, it's gonna jump up a little bit more. It, it would be really, really bad if, for example, the player count, current player count just starts dipping. And normally and usually that happens, but what I'm trying to say here is that if, if 
it's gonna be really bad if this current peak of 834 do not increase right it's gonna be really bad because you guys gotta understand that the game just came out three hours ago now i get it right now it's at 834 still bad because it's a star wars title that's insanely bad for a star wars title now if if, if it was let's just say an indie title uh like one dev who made it a passionate dev that made it and they were getting uh, a couple thousand sales and their all-time peak was this all-time peak was let's just say 500 or a thousand or uh, anything beyond is uh, i would say it's very good because especially especially in this day and age it's all about word of mouth right if for example if 1000 people play your game and they like it they're gonna tell their friends about it and then you know their friends gonna talk about it to their friends and maybe if one youtuber uh that's like big or twitch streamer that's big that plays on stream or makes a video on it then other people gonna find out and then it's like a snowball effect but the game needs to be good to begin with i remember that one dollar you know battle event battlefield 2042 came out there was that uh battlefield clone somebody made right i'm not getting the name right now uh, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. I believe it was one dollar or for free, but but uh, apparently that game blew up because it was such a meme game and it came out at the right time and it was memeing the actual Battlefield 2042 uh, at launch. Right now, uh, if you right now I, I I have been playing Battlefield 2042 without any expectations and I've been uh, enjoying my time for what it is. Not saying it's like the best game ever, but you you guys know the deal, right? You guys know what happened when the game first came out. So it was absolutely a disaster and somebody made that one dollar uh, meme battlefield game and that game also blew up right uh, yeah it, it's a word of mouth and the game needs to be good essentially so that's what it is but guys check out this video on the screen apparently we got our first gameplay leak for battlefield 6 <laughs> yes while we're on the topic check out this video on the screen this just happened earlier today so check out this video and the news is apparently good we got news leaks uh, gameplay demo as well tech demo was revealed by ea themselves and we also got gameplay leaks as well check it out and i'll see you there